Today we're looking at a new rogue called Security Shield. Now, this is probably going to be the replacement for Security Tool. And I've already said that like once or twice with two other rogues, so... You know, it hasn't come true, but I think this one, I got a lot of faith in this one being the replacement because it looks so much like Security Tool and behaves exactly like Security Tool. But I have to acknowledge it because it's... You know, it could be major. So let's go ahead and run it. And it goes ahead and makes its uh, random number process. Just wait for it. Alright, and you get the same type alert that says Security Shield has been installed successfully. Click OK. And right off the bat, you'll notice the logo. If you look close enough, you'll, it's actually the security tool shield being covered by another shield. I assume this is to protect while it protects. Dog. Anyway, it's finding some threats. Uh, it's same old stuff, you know. Go ahead and uh, stop the scan. It says it found 33 infections that could harm you with system crashes, data loss, internet connection loss. Sounds bad. And, of course, if you want to remove threats, uh, it'll ask you to pay for this. So, let's go ahead and have a look at the payment page. And it wants to charge us $79.95. That's a little bit much, don't you think? And there doesn't appear to be any sort of support page available, so we'll have to continue unprotected for now. And it's saying something about updates, new database updates available. If you try to update, of course, it'll ask you to activate, which will force you to buy it. And in the uh, tabs on the left side, you've got your protection, which is the same in Security Tool as in this. You've got privacy, you've got update settings or whatever, and you've got settings. And I root kit, advanced detection, don't close active processes. Of course you can't save them unless if you activate Security Shield. This time we only get a choice of five languages. So, not as much variation as Security Tool, but it's, you know, it's got some languages. And, yeah, as you can tell, it's exactly the same as Security Tool. I mean, it's literally just got a shield over it, like a blanket or something. And we got some sort of fake alert down here, and just important system files were modified by malicious software, and it may cause system crashes. So if you click that, it'll bring back up the uh, security shield. Now, removal. That's always the big question. Um, this key was from Siri, and I'm not sure if he cracked it or procured it somehow, but anyway, the easiest way to remove security shield is to just put in a key and then be able to download malware bytes to remove it. That way you don't get any sort of interference, which is what you don't want, because it makes it a pain in the ass to remove. And it makes it a pain in the ass for me to help you remove. So, I went ahead and saved the uh, license key. And um, one thing interesting about Security Shield, it won't tell you if you put in a wrong key. Wait, what the hell just happened? Oh, wait, I think I know what happened. I think I had the key in the, um, in the clipboard before I opened up Security Shield, and it went ahead and pasted it in automatically. See, what would normally happen is that when you click the register button, and you put in just random stuff and click activate, nothing would happen. No alert saying that it was wrong, anything like that. But it automatically copied this, because I just pasted this a minute ago, into that, and now it's activated. It looks weird, but it's explainable. It's plausible. So it says it has been registered successfully. Thank you for choosing our product. I click OK. And it starts removing the threats. 32. It'll start going down. It's pretty damn slow, actually. But what you can do is just click the X, and it kills its process. As you can see, it's completely gone. No random named... or random number process at all. So, next thing you want to do is just install Malwarebytes. 
Alright, so you go ahead and save Malwarebytes to your desktop. Close your browser and go ahead and run the installer. And go through the setup process. Pick your language, click next, accept the agreement, click next, 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 next. Leave update and launch checked and click finish. Alright, if let's say you already have uh, Malwarebytes installed, go ahead and go to the update tab and check for updates uh, manually just to make sure you have the latest database version. Now, go back to the scanner tab. Uh, make sh eh, leave it on quick scan for now. If you encounter any problems, you might want to run a full scan, but this is not really necessary for. Uh, security shield so quick scan and scan and it'll take you probably around five to ten minutes so go ahead and take a break all right so my scan took just about three minutes two minutes 57 seconds go ahead and click show results it'll show all of the infected files and the uh, registry key that it made and make sure they're all checked and click remove selected it will go ahead and make a log, which you can dismiss, and it will ask you to restart your computer. Go ahead and click yes. Yep, and that's uh, pretty much it for removing this. Um, there shouldn't be any uh, leftover uh, links on the desktop or anything like that. If it uh, comes back, you might want to run a uh, full scan with Malwarebytes. If it still comes back, you might want to run a scan with Combo Fix. Uh, if you really need to. So, that should be it for removing Security Shield.